when we're asked to solve an equation, when we're asked to solve for x, for example, find the value of the unknown quantity x, what you really want to do is you want to get this rearranged in a way that leaves x as the only thing on one side of the equation. So x is equals to, and then a bunch of stuff here. Now, the way that you can do that is by essentially undoing anything that's happening to x. For example, x is having 7 added to it. And the way you would undo that is to simply do the opposite. If you're adding 7, then minus 7. But there's a price that you have to pay each time you do that. This was equals to 14. And so if I want to minus 7 on this side, I have to minus 7 on the other side in order to not change the value of x. Right now, x has a certain value that x plus 7 equals to 14. That makes that true. It won't stay true unless I, if I'm going to, if I'm going to minus 7 from one side here, unless I minus 7 from both sides. So let's have a look and see what that does. Now, positive 7 and negative 7, these cancel each other out. And so I am, as I wanted to be, I'm just left with x on this side of the equation. But then 14 minus 7, that gives me 7. And because I'm left with x equals 2, and then it's just a single number, this is my answer. So the answer here is C.